Hello friends, welcome again to Intellect Medicos where learning is made easy. If you haven't subscribed the channel, do hit the subscribe button below and also tap on the bell button to get the updates about my new video. So today we'll discuss about autosomal recessive disorders and their causes. This is a very important topic for all the medical competitive examinations. There are many questions on the risk of inheritance to the offspring and also on the causes. In this video, I'll explain what are these disorders, how are they inherited, what's the risk of inheritance and the several causes of these disorders with the help of some good mnemonics. At the end of this video, I have asked a question. Do listen to this video till the end and answer that question in the comment section below. So let's start. As you already know that we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, out of which one pair is 6 chromosome and the other 22 are non-6 chromosome or the autosomes. We inherit one copy from each of our parent which is responsible for our phenotype as well as our genotype. Now there are two type of inheritance pattern autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive in which there is a single gene abnormality or disease on the autosome that means on non-6 chromosomes. In autosomal dominant the disease gene is dominant over the normal gene so a single disease gene is sufficient to produce autosomal dominant disorders whereas in autosomal recessive the disease gene is recessive over the normal gene that means in order to have autosomal recessive disorder you need to have two copies of disease gene if there is only one disease gene then the normal gene will dominate and the disease gene will not be able to express but that individual becomes a carrier which has the ability to transmit the disease to the next generation if the partner is either a carrier or is diseased. Now let's understand the inheritance of autosomal recessive disorders to the next generation with the help of an example. Example 1. Let's say father is diseased. That means both the genes of father are diseased and the mother is normal. That means both the genes are normal of mother. So there are four possibilities for the offsprings. Gene 1 from father and gene 3 from mother or gene 1 from father and gene 4 from mother or there could be gene 2 from father and gene 3 from mother and the last possibility is gene 2 from father and gene 4 from mother. As you can see in all the offsprings there is one defective gene and one normal gene and as this is a recessive disorder which we are talking about so there if there will be no disease in any of the offsprings but all of them will be carrier of the disease example number two father is a carrier that means one of the gene is defective or diseased whereas the mother is normal that means both the genes are normal Let's see the four possibilities for the offspring. Gene 1 that is defective gene from the father and gene 3 from mother. Or gene 1 from father and gene 4 from mother. Or there could be gene 2 from father which is a normal gene and gene 3 from mother. And the last possibility could be gene 2 from father and gene 4 from the mother. Now if you see the outcomes, first two offsprings have one disease gene and one normal. That means both first two offsprings will be a carrier. They will not have the disease but again have the capacity to transmit the disease to the next generation. The other two offsprings are normal as both the genes are normal. Moving forward to the example number three. Father is a carrier and mother is also a carrier. 
So if we see the outcomes, one offspring is diseased as both the genes are defective. Two of them will be carrier and one possibility is a normal offspring. So if a question comes, what is the risk of transmission of a disease if both the parents are carrier? Then the answer would be 25%, one in four offsprings. I hope this concept and question is clear to all of you because this is a frequently asked question in different competitive exams. Now the other important question of this topic is the causes of autosomal recessive disorders. To help you remember all the causes, I have a good mnemonic for you. Sick waiter saying alphabets A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So coming back to the mnemonic, with sick, the, the disease is sickle cell anemia. With waiter, it is the Wilson's disease. A stands for albinism, ataxia, telangiectasia, and alcaptonuria. B for beta thalassemia and Barter syndrome. C cystic fibrosis, very, very frequently asked, and co congenital adrenal hyperplasia. D Dubin Johnson syndrome. E emphysema, that is. Alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency. F. Friedrich's ataxia. G. Glycogen storage disease. And Gilbert's syndrome. H. Hemochromatosis. And homocystinuria. Now, the question for all of you do leave the, your answer in the comment section below. So, the question is. How many offsprings will have cystic fibrosis if the father is a carrier and the mother has cystic fibrosis? Option A 0%, B 25%, C 50%, D 75% or is it E 100%? So this is all about autosomal recessive disorders. I'll discuss about inheritance and causes of autosomal dis dominant disorders in the next video. If you like the content of this video, do share with your friends and also tap on the like button. Also, do hit the subscribe button to get the, no to get the notification about my next video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Best of luck.